With us just being a few weeks away from bringing home our Dexter family milk cow, I need to get busy on building a milking parlor. Infrastructure wise, the two main things that we need for our cow is going to be a milking parlor as well as a shelter. I'm planning on using these pallets behind me to start a pallet, cattle panel, barn, and milking parlor. The supply list is relatively simple. It's going to be made from pallets, cattle panels, a tarp, T-posts, fencing staples, and fasteners. These are 3 8 inch diameter, 4 inch long hex bolts, and then of course the nut and washers. Tools for the job include a hammer, a T-post driver, measuring tape, cordless screwdriver, and of course, some brute strength. For building this structure, it's as simple as making a rectangular perimeter, a three-sided rectangle, with T-posts, and then putting pallets over the T-posts, the T-posts provide support for the pallets, then bolting the pallets together. So essentially we have the walls for a three-sided structure at that point. And then we're gonna arch cattle panels from one side of the structure to the other, forming a roof. And then we're gonna have to tarp the cattle panels, of course, for a roof. And then we're gonna have to put some framing in it in order to support a snow load during the winter. But essentially that's it. It's a very simple and functional design. The challenge to all this though is finding the right place for it. A really big design consideration for the milking parlor is to have a really flat surface on which to build the milking stand. The milking stand needs to be pretty level. After scouting out several areas on our property that I thought would be a good location, I determined that this spot right here is going to be the best spot for the milking parlor right now. This area I've selected back here is pretty flat. It does have a little bit of undulation to it, but overall it's fairly flat and it's not an area that's being used for our grazing program right now. So it's not going to interrupt or make us have to recalculate how we're grazing. It's a little bit off the grazing area right next to our garden.
I had some difficulty getting that cattle panel up by myself yesterday evening. So I had to wait until today where I could get some help from Ashley to get the rest of them up. And there we have it, the cattle panel pallet barn slash milking parlor. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I really like the design. I like the functionality. Once we get it framed for a snow load, which is probably going to be a little bit down the road, then it will be officially complete. But right now it is up and functional, ready to go. And of course, come winter, we'll put some additional tarps on there to help keep the snow or other forms of precipitation out. But for right now in the summer when we're hardly getting any rain at all and we need the airflow going through there, we're just leaving it as is. I'll also run an extension cord out here and put in some lighting in there so that we get some additional lighting. That's going to be really critical during the winter as well when it's a little bit darker here. Building this thing has given me ideas how I might improve on it and do some future projects with additional structures on the homestead. But in the meantime, homestead success. I nearly forgot, I gotta put the hinges on this pallet so I can make my little door on my back wall here. There we go, hinges are on. The door is closing. <laughs> <laughs>